What's going on, everybody? It's Majin Bay. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, we have a nice deck for the old school control player. The units are for losers type control player. This is Ruben Zoo's Howling Abyss control. We have a couple of units in the deck. That's it. We got some Ledros, we got Elise, and we got Kindly Tavern Keeper. That's all we need. We make our own win conditions with three copies of Howling Abyss. If you haven't seen Howling Abyss, it's a six mana landmark that every round you create in hand a random level two champion that's not in your hand deck or play. So basically, every turn you get a leveled up champion in your hand. It's a pretty nuts honestly it's like it's really really good the problem is the six mana sets you really far behind it's six mana where you're not doing anything on the board right so this deck aims to ramp up a bit into it with catalyst maybe but also just control the board enough that it has the time to play howling abyss and to do that you have all these control tools we have elise that's literally there just to be a good early play she attacks in like she attacks through most things creating more blockers she blocks well herself uh three copies of go hard Three copies of Vile Feast. Um, some Kindly Tavern Keepers help gain life. Really blocks well. Honestly, anything that blocks Fearsome right now is like nuts. Three threes are really big. Uh, full three Avalanche and three Blighted Ravine. The Box, Withering Whale, Vengeance, full set of Vengeance, and two Ruinations. Been a bit since you guys got to play Ruination, huh? Um, really loving all the control tools. You just literally have them all. And then to keep some of the card advantage going, we have Catalog of Regrets, a four mana landmark. Round start, create in hand a fleeting copy of a non-fleeting spell you cast last round. Really nice with things like Avalanche, Vile Feast, Withering Whale, and most importantly, Go Hard. You play Go Hard, you play Catalog of Regrets, you get another Go Hard next turn. All you have to do is cast two Go Hards and you're already packing bags. It's pretty, it's pretty insane card advantage once you can get it going. We have a couple other like tricky things. Uh, we have two copies of Three Sisters for the Freezes and Entombs, a little bit of flexibility. One copy of Actual Flash Freeze. And then we have one Atrocity to go with our two Commander Ledros. Uh, really just a fun deck for hard control fans or anybody that wants to play the cool landmarks you don't normally get to play like Howling Abyss and Catalog of Regrets. This deck is quite competitive. Uh, Ruben Zoo took it to a top 10 ladder placement. Uh, I believe he's moved out of top 10 cents, but still at almost 400 LP in Masters with this deck. Um, I am not going to be playing it on my Masters account. Uh, I do have to play it on the Smurf, unfortunately. I have gained about 250 LP on the Masters account, and um, I can't afford to lose it at the moment because the 7-2 tiebreaker for Seasonals is such a big deal. Uh, so unfortunately, we are in the Smurf. Or I think we're Silver Elo right now. I'm sorry. I know. I don't want to do it either. Um but keep that in mind if you see the deck do tremendously well, that this isn't an accurate representation of how it would do in Masters. The opponents would probably be better. The decks would probably be more tuned. But it still should give you guys a pretty good idea of what to expect. And I think it should be pretty fun. So yeah, let's hop on ladder and we'll see how it does. Okay. Ooh, Zillion Auction. This, no, Zillion Echo. This matchup, probably pretty tough. Uh, the Echo Revive just seems brutal. I'm going to keep Elise. I want to look for things like Howling Abyss. Um, a Catalog of Regrets would be really nice. Uh, Vile Feast and Go Hard's not very good in this matchup because nothing has like one health except for Fallen Feline, I think. Um, so I would have kept a Catalyst, I think. We just want to... Ah, we, <laughs> we just want to start doing stuff. But this deck takes a while to do stuff, unfortunately. I really like how our hand turned out, though. I'm actually not going to go hard this. I could. I have the option to. But I don't think I am because I would like to play go hard once we have Catalog of Regrets up. So I think I'm going to go pass pass. Um, Catalyst on turn three. And then Catalog into a go hard. Opponent open attacking is good for us because it doesn't punish me for not go harding anymore. If they played a 2-3 predictor, then I'd be like, mm, taking more damage. That kind of sucks. Honestly, not a big deal. We have a bunch of healing. Opponent on track to level Echo on Curve. They do that a lot. They just level Echo on four, and you're like, that's pretty good. Haven't I been here before? We only have two days left of this patch, and then the big patch comes. So... Today I'm doing this deck. Tomorrow I'm going to do Ionia Yetis, so keep an eye out for that one. That should be fun. Nice draw. I could play Elise, but I really just want to ramp. And then, yeah, and then the whole meta is going to change. We think. We have no idea. I, We know the patch is pretty big. 
but we don't know what's in it yet. I'm going to be posting a video on whatever it is um, on Tuesday morning when the patch notes go live, so keep an eye out for that. I'll be discussing it all. Oh, that's pretty good. Well, we don't have any kind of, like, AoE wipe, like, avalanche or whale or something, so that's kind of annoying. Oh, wow, this is nice. If Echo's played, I'll probably cash in a Vile Feast, I think. Time trick. Okay, no Echo. And that's <laughs> that's what's important here. I just don't want to see Echo. Once they start shuffling in those... uh, Oh, I guess he's not quite leveled. He needed one more. Once they shuffle in those, I think they're called Chrono Breaks, it's a problem. What if I Vile Feast this turn, and then Catalog and go hard next turn? Uh, how much mana will I have? Six. No, because then I can't play the I can't play the copied Vile Feast. I really do like the idea of just getting back to go hard. So that sounds pretty, pretty tempting. I'm gonna greed it up. Yeah. We're gonna get so greedy. Okay, Avalanche is just kind of kind of nuts though. It's just really good. Yeah. Let's let's cast it before our opponent plays Echo and gets Chrono Breaks in the deck. We have to basically wipe the board. There he is. The boy. Uh, I'm gonna toss a vile feast his way that way I have a chump blocker it puts two, it puts a damage on echo I get a chump blocker and I would like I just want to keep my life total high and then I think next turn we go catalog into a second copy of gohard whales nice too we gotta watch out for um for chrono break though mm, that's the card that's the card I could just wrath Sorry, I call I call anything that wipes the board Wrath. Wrath of God from Magic the Gathering. I can't help it. I could kill just Echo. They've only drawn one card. Then if they revive and rally, it's not that bad. I kind of like this. I could also play Elise to block, and I then play Catalog, and I still get my two uh, Go Hards next turn. Because that's what's really important, I think. If I can get to pack, I'm in just a really good spot. Um... Block, block. Absolver? Be an early Absolver. I would actually really like to see an Absolver here because then I don't have to worry about Chrono Break. Okay, no Absolver. Uh, Chrono Break, not quite lethal because I can play Elise and block. They also have to draw it. They already played two time tricks. Yeah, not likely, not likely. I do believe... Do I play Elise? I think I can pass. Because I have Whale to deal with these guys. It's also my attack turn. Um, go hard. Sure. That's not good. I don't like that at all. Kill Jocillion. <sighs> Chrono Break is such a scary card. Play at least. We have like a freeze. We have a whale. 
We're currently not making anything with catalog. Hmm. Okay, that could find Chrono Break. <laughs> so I'm just gonna pass. Let me get you that file. Sure. Yeah. Bonus put this last if they're gonna attack with it at all. Man, I'm good. If they're not going to attack with it, I don't need to do anything. I was gonna possibly entomb this, but I could also just do this. Get whale back next turn. Get two copies of whale, just in case. And that's kind of nice because the first whale kills only Voice of the Risen, right? So if there's a rally, it's not that bad. But it also, like, absolutely decreases the amount of damage we're taking, right? Because I basically gain as much health as damage we take after I kill it. Then I'll just pass priority. Chrono Break? Okay, Chrono Break, yeah. Uh huh. We let him come in. <laughs> And then we wail one and we wail again. <laughs> we kill the guys again. What are the odds they have the third card? We could get Absolver, but okay, no Absolver. Very nice, very nice. I was gonna say, don't you dare have the third Chrono Break. That's just not fair. Um, I'll kindly. But I'd like to get Howling Abyss out. But if Echo hits the board, I'm just killing him. I'm going to shoot him in this stupid face. We can attack here. Interesting. Come back next time. That doesn't seem very good at all. Nope. No, thank you. I get two vengeances back. I'm only gonna cast one. Even I might not even cast one. I really just want to get this Howling Abyss on the board. Mm -hmm. We'll go to the attack step. We're also just drawing to pack your bags. We have six copies of Gohard in the deck. No, actually, we have even more. Because we've only actually drawn one copy of Gohard, so there's two copies. I cast three. There's eight copies of Gohard in the deck. And then once I do draw it, we just get to pack. Get some life. I don't need, I'm, I'm not going to shoot a 2-3. I don't care. I believe opponent is out of Chrono Breaks. Oh, maybe not, because they station Archivist one. So they might have one left. Wait, Nami's kind of sick, though. I know Nami's really sick, though. Shadow. I have three sisters to go, like, Fury or something. Yeah, yeah, time bomb away. But I will see we get to pump Elise? This uh, this is pretty good. <laughs> okay, stop blowing up my stuff. That's not very nice. Search I'm gonna pump on Elise. Uh, no, I'll just Fury. Rise with the surf. Pump here. <laughs> just really push a lot of damage. Get the pumps going. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> Large Elise, baby. Let's go. Oh, you thought you were the aggro deck? Get out of here. We should see a Hexite Crystal from our opponent at some point. They did play two kitties. So, like, eventually that'll catch up to us. But again, we're drawing to so many pack your bags here. And then if we draw pack your bags, we get two go hards the next turn. We're basically just like turboing to another pack. And we get a champ every turn. There's the crystal. Champ every turn for Howling Abyss. I feel good about this. We lose these two. We get back three sisters or fury. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. Another three sisters, just in case. I have three three sisters, and I find that thematically appropriate. Echo? Okay, 
I'm gonna say you're you're searching for Echo or Zillion, basically. Those are your only cards worth grabbing. So I do not think it's going to be enough. Let me show you. I don't even need to cast these. I could cast three sisters just to get two more copies of three sisters next turn. That's so funny. I guess we'll just entomb, right? Mine as well. Just give me more options next turn for spells. Hazaki! I would like to attack you, please. <laughs> nice! That's what I'm talking about, man. Those cataloger regrets, once you get like once you get them going, they're so much value. Now we feast. And I didn't even get to pack anybody's bags. Scion Draven, let's go. Uh, I believe we should be pretty good into that if we can deal with, um, maybe I keep Ravine as well. If we can deal with the Scion, if we have, like, the freezes. Actually, it might just be tough for us to deal with Scion in a permanent way. We only have three freezes in the deck. Alright, at least is a pretty nice draw. It's a little clunky. I kept both and got punished by drawing another Avalanche. It will be good, but I wanted something to do before that. They could go hard, file piece. Never mind. We're fine. Opponent, uh, not doing anything here. Let's go with these. There's nothing to fear. Does your hand start with Draven? Uh huh. You can play this guy? The 4 2? Because I'm down to trade. That sounds pretty good to me. You can block the, the X one, but you know, you know if you block the Spider that, like, this guy's not surviving. Yeah. So young. Wonder if we'll see Twin Blade come out. Probably. And then what do I do? Oh man, that's not good. I'm gonna catalog. But I'd like to get this catalyst going so we can just ramp up a bunch. You want to block? Please. <laughs> Pretty please. It's, it'd be really nice if you would block this. Wow, okay. Thank you very much. Much obliged. They're probably considering, oh, I have like Draven or something and I want to push through damage. And otherwise they just block. Yeah, like some treasure. Um, I could pass one more time and then use the box. But I get pretty beat up. So it's probably just Blighted Ravine. I could Catalyst. Get another Catalyst next turn. Then Avalanche. I just take a bunch. That's ah, fine. We have so much healing. I like ramping. Let's do that. Let's let's be stupid. It'll be it'll be fun. We can't develop because I could have Avalanche or Ruination or basically a million things. So very likely going to see just an open attack, which we then get to like Catalyst and I don't know, I guess. Well, OK, developing very bold. If I were to say Avalanche, we might not get to cast Catalyst this turn. Whale's just too good. And if they develop again, we, just, we could just cast the other avalanche. Kind of sad. I really just wanted to ramp to 10, like, immediately. Oh, woe is me. I don't get to ramp as much as I want, right? I know. Sad tale. Wonder what they were considering there. Survival skills wouldn't go on the unit you want it to. Would it? Yeah, it would. No, well, this isn't dying, so you wouldn't need to survival skills. I could just let it hit me. Could just let it hit me. Let's just let it hit me. Boop. More ramp. More life gain. Who needs to do things? Not this guy. I play Shadow Isles Freljord. All I do is pass. 
We are burning. Uh, I will have 10 mana, so I cannot... I cannot Howling Abyss and, um... Ravine. Wait, yeah, I can. I cannot... No, I, I can't. I can't Howling Abyss and Whale is what I was going to say. I think I will Howling Abyss, though. It's just so good. It's so good. Is it good? What if I play Scion? If they play Scion, that's very scary. He's already leveled. Actually, Scion's terrifying. <laughs> what do I even do about that? Die? Just hit him with a Scion's not real and play Howling Abyss? Ravine's the smart play. So we'll play Ravine. Okay. okay. So. I can set up so that Scion dies to Ravine and they immediately rally. Which I think is the move. The problem is, is we take a ton of damage. We go down to four, which is bad. So I think we'll have to go like... We'll have to put like whale on the stack to gain life. Unless I draw... Okay, unless we get the box back from Catalog. There's a 50-50 chance we get the box back. If we get the box back, we're big chillin'. Because we just box, box whale, Scion. Right? And he dies. Okay, we did not get the box because I'm a bad gamer. Oh my god, never mind. I'm god. I'm so good. <laughs> All I want to know is, is this what passes for war? I hate how in his level up, he goes, is this what passes for war? And then immediately after it goes war again. I don't know why. It's weird. It sounds odd. Also suck it, Scion. Okay, so I get three scissors back, which doesn't mean anything to me. Don't really, I don't really need it. I doubt I'll use it for anything. Well, hello. <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Okay, so yeah, whale doesn't, because it doesn't drain, so it doesn't actually heal me for any more, but it does seem pretty good. Okay, rude. Uh, yes. I'm going to pass priority. I think our opponent's going to play something, and then I'm going to whale. I'm going to pass priority. I think our opponent's going to play something, and then I'm going to whale. I'm gonna pass priority. I think our opponent's gonna play something and then I'm gonna whale. Okay, now I'm gonna whale. <laughs> I had my fun. <laughs> it's not dying anyway. I mean, you get to play Poros and that's pretty sick, but you also know I'm getting Withering Whale back, which is bad for you. Right, because what are you going to do? Just play play more X1s? The third get excited? Wow. I mean, that's super sick and everything, but I'm still going to whale next turn. Okay, that's nine points of burn our opponent just didn't throw at our face. I'm pretty happy about this. Level to Zier. Let's go. I'm not letting you do this to me. No Scion. It's very good for us. They didn't even see my Emperor of Sharima that I had sitting in my back pocket. GG, opponent. GG. Hitting that three sisters off the top. Mmm, that felt good. Ooh, Draven Rumble, the other Draven deck. I think this is currently the better Draven deck, I'm going to be honest. It does so much damage, and it hurts me so much. Very nice. I basically just wanted... 
I wanted a bunch of stuff that kills things. And then maybe a kindly tavern keeper and a catalog. Catalog with this hand would be nuts. We got the go hard, the vile feast, the withering well, my favorite catalog things. Wow, I'm two for two so far for calling draws. I should go to the casino. What am I doing here? A vile feast. We'll save the go hard for catalog turn. Pack your bags against this deck is really good. Oh, it's so good. I mean, pack your bags against every deck is like insane. Let's be, let's be honest here. Show me the rumble. Another go hard. Here comes a okay, well, I didn't challenger. actually want you to do that. Come on, uh, we're going to take a lot of damage. That's fine. <laughs> Don't be like me, kids. This is how you die to burn. <laughs> you just say, ah, whatever. I'm not worried about it. And then and then they kill you. But eight. You, first of all. Oh, yeah, we'll shoot you. I don't gain any life, which is sad. Come on, baby. And I think we start with uh, Ravine to gain some life, right? So we go Ravine. Go hard, go hard. Ow. And it kills Rumble. Or I could just Ravine go hard once. Yeah, and then I have Whale. I like that a little more, actually. It also guarantees me pack your bags if I wait. Because then I can um I could play the second catalog in Go Hard on some on a different turn, right? Or seven? Hey, that's pretty low. That's funny. They're funny dudes. Burn, baby, burn. Nice. I'm feeling pretty good here. Let's go back up to 11. Uh, we get whale again, which I'm going to cast for sure. Uh, nine mana. Oh, we get, we get pack again. Whoops, my bad. Hmm. Yeah, so let's go. So we don't need the second catalog because we're not actually, you can't copy the fleeting stuff. Okay. That's not very nice. If I get burned out here, I'm going to be like, I'm going to be a little sad. This does turn back into go hard, so I can get, I can get one more life drain if I want it. I might want it. This is a lot of damage. I don't want to die to get excited double mystic. That'd be like super sad. Hiya. Okay, play another card so I know you're not you're not all burn. If you don't play another card, I have to play this go hard, and I don't want to do that yet. I don't want to do that. Uh -huh, but I gotta. I can't I can't die to get excited double mystic. That'd be so sad. There's no point for me to throw away the game like that. Go hard. We're just going to draw go hards forever. I'm going to go with an absolutely not. <laughs> uh, a no thank you. I'm going to shoot my own elise. <laughs> got to get that life gain, you know? You got to do what you got to do sometimes. And then we wait. Yeah, because I didn't want to get a... Uh... What is this? Three. Four. Not quite lethal. So we just do this, and then we go for the, uh, the pack lethal next turn. I mean, the smart thing is just to let it go, but I really did just want to push it. Uh, here's, you know, we'll play Howling Abyss, whatever. For the content. A Redly and Soul. Damn it. No oh, vengeance? I ain't scared of nothing. If our opponent plays a Rumble, they don't have to discard any cards, and it does actually get the, um, 
it gets spell shield again. It gets all the stuff again, which is like, I feel like something that uh, people overlook until they play against it for the first time, and then you die, and you're like, oh, that's pretty good. You're in there, home slice. You're in there. What do we get? What do we get? Give me something good. Rek'Sai? Well, okay then. Oh my god, just go hards forever. GG. GG. We could- we just- we'd be packing every single turn. I gotta play this deck more. That's so fun. Pantheon Ribbon. Alright, let's see it. Let's see it. I feel like we are way better into this version uh, than we are into the Demacia one because Riven has all those uh, like low health units, whereas the other variation has like just big dudes, just big dudes, sharp sights and rallies, and those cards are scary. Okay, we have my two favorite cards: Go Hard and Catalog of Regrets. So I'm ready. Vile Feast may have been a little not great of a keep, to be honest, since we already have Go Hard, but it's so good. It kills something and then it blocks. How could you not want that? And it buys me time to wait until, yeah, so I'll go like Vile Feast here, right? And then go attacks and I block a trade. Or not, that's fine, I don't care. You can, you can heal him. Paskin. I just I just want to play catalog. <laughs> uh -huh. yeah. Bring it. To serve the great. Ooh, let's go. We are landmark control this hand. Quick attack. Nice hit. Nice hit. Uh, it seems to me. I don't want to take this damage. Catalog. Gonna gem the goat probably. Ooh, ribbon. Okay, we just ping ribbon. Maybe they gem her, whatever. But like, we can ping ribbon, ping ribbon with the the go hard that's coming back, and then play ravine, and it wipes the board. They have to gem ribbon to keep her alive. But then we also have like file feast. We can whale. So many options. It's spoiling me for choice. Do this. Maybe we entice another play before we ravine. You never know. Whoa. Are you going to crescendo? What's the pick here? Oh, heal it back up. I respect that. The problem with this play, though, is that the ravine still going to kill it. Because it goes back down, right? It goes back down to two. And then we get it. I would like to be able to Howling Abyss this turn. That was a perfect draw. They took my love. Wow, took my love. nice. Um, I, I think pinging this might be better because I can just ravine again later. I'm trying to be really greedy, though, because I really just want to play Abyss this turn. Like, because we, we get pack your bags next time. No Bring it. I ain't now. scared. Show me the damage. Nine. That's it. What's Pant that? Three. Okay. So we don't have to worry about that quite yet. Catalyst. Uh. Elise. See if our opponent mistakenly just plays something. People forget how this card works sometimes. Because you can't, they can't see that it's specifically go hard, right? Today we stand. Man, I wish I had kept up that bile feast, right? I was like, there's no, no way someone, uh, they're, they're just going to like play Pantheon into this. It's fine. It's fine. 
We had a super sick pack. I mean, otherwise I would have to just play pack. Like, I would have just had to play pack anyway, because I can't just pass. If I pass, I don't get any attack. And that's not, that's not good. Pantheon Spooky. They're going to pump him, and we could very well die here. Aurelia. That's kind of useless. At least. That's pretty useless. We have some life gain. We have four. Four life gain available to us. We could, in a pinch, try to gain a little bit more with Ravine. But that won't really work. Okay, just not scout. As long as there's no scout, we're chilling. No more gods. No more demons. Well, that's really bad. <laughs> and Fearsome, are you kidding me? I can't even block with Elise. This sucks. Ah. I'm so upset. Uh huh. Okay, Pant hits me. I play Yasuo. I try not to die. He's just getting pumped, though, right? Like, for sure. Hazaki. Death is like the wind. Always, Always by my side. I mean, maybe they just don't have real cards. Maybe these five cards are just wet napkins. I alone decide my fate. I guess we should probably pop the spell shield, right? Ah! Uh, oh, I don't have the sweaty. The, the I don't have the Caitlyn one on here. That's what I was going for. The wait, not dead. Do you have Rune Reckoner? I'm still upset they hit Scout. That was some baloney. Scout fearsome, man. The Just killers. Okay, hey, look at that. Not dead. <laughs> right? Not dead. Okay. <sighs> it's fine, guys. We got this. Oh, regenerate. Wow. Okay. This is not going well. Okay, yeah, we can rally into... Up. Oh, vengeance. Let's go, baby. Let's go. Okay, we have to wail, because we gotta, right? Like, I gotta gain that life back. Or maybe I just vengeance. I just kill Pantheon, because if they play another Pantheon... Yeah, I'm just gonna kill Pantheon. Because if they play another Pantheon, I need to Vile Feast. Make a blocker, right? Or something like that. And then we get another vengeance next turn. Yeah, so I wait. They play Pantheon, I wait. Cast off your fear. Okay, one. Elusive Challenger Regeneration Fury Barrier. Okay. So just wait. I pass. Is that enough? It's not enough, is it? Oh, they don't have Spell Shield. There's no Spell Shield. Okay, 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 okay. I just assume Pantheon has Spell Shield all the time. Uh -huh. the old are in blood. When you get the other one. Oh, then they get to put Overwhelm on the Wounded White Flame. Oh, man. Oh, that's a big lad. I can go to two from Vile Feast. Vengeance, block two. Not enough. What do we got to do here? We need the vengeance, right? We have to have the vengeance. I think we might just have to draw something. I think we're just going to draw something. Because I, I can't play Vile Feast now and then try to hit, like... I can't Because I can't deal with Pantheon. Oh my goodness. Level Twisted Fate would have been so good. Opponent, pass priority. <laughs> Ship it on over here. Ah, oh, this is so sad. I'm exactly dead. What's your hurry? 
Oh, exactly dead. GG. Oh, it's so sad. It's so sad. I cannot believe... I cannot believe what they got in the Pantheon. Scout. Fearsome. Oh, and Spell Shield. Just like the perfect stuff. Plunder. I don't see a lot of plunder anymore. Uh, I do have two copies of Ruination and three copies of Vengeance, so this should be a pretty good matchup for me. Uh, we're going to Mulligan Howling Abyss. I know. I'm sorry. Oh, okay, these whales are not it, though. You can combine them with things like the Blighted Ravine to kill stuff, but they're a little slow, and they don't really do what you want. <laughs> this is the first time we've seen Ledros. I, like, forgot it was in the deck. Corsair. This is what I mean. Like, whales, whale just doesn't kill anything of theirs. Oh, they are going for that turbo level. I respect that. You get to you get to go two for two. That's pretty good. <laughs> go hard. Not great either. Not great. Uh, it will be. It will be good eventually. And like I said, we can combine it with whale ravine, that kind of stuff, right? Ooh. It will be killing that guy. But let's wait. See what we draw first. Kindly. Welcome to the tipsy hour. Thanks for the welcome, my friend. Ping here. Right. Ping here. And then we wail. If our opponent opens, we wail. And if they don't open, we still wail. <laughs> We're just gonna wail, basically. Oh, wow. They're going to level on five. That's nuts. At least they're not attacking on five. So it gives me a chance to, I don't know, possibly try to deal with Gangplank somehow. Maybe? Question mark? Let's get him, crew. I'll take an extra point of damage by clicking OK here. But in case they play like a butcher, this is it? That's all? Let's talk about your dad. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm down. I'm, I'm down with this. Uh, and then I think we just take our turn and we play Ravine. This guy's going to die, but whatever. Mm -hmm. What do we draw? Another go hard. Actually, not bad at all. Here's a bean. I'll ping this butcher probably. And then we're sitting kind of pretty. Now we just need stuff to deal with champions. But that's where plunder's like so strong, right? It's the champions. Do I just let them pass? I probably just let them pass here. They're wasting all their mana. Yeah, just let them pass. I can kill this later. At least. Okay. What I don't want to see is Gangplank. I don't care about Sejuani. I just don't want to see Gangplank. He represents a lot more damage. And I really just want to Howling this. Whoa, the open. Okay, yeah, deal. I'm stoked. <laughs> I'm very happy about this open. What's the best champ? I mean, it's still got to just be, like... It's still got to be, a, like, a Relian Soul, right? He's just insane. Uh, what else? Are you sure? I don't know if I agree with that one, opponent. Oh my god, we just hit a Relian Soul. I'm nuts. I'm cracked. Here's Elise. I know what lurks. Vengeance was a great draw. Aurelian Soul's so good, it, cause it just immediately costs zero. Like free you. attack is free. Very nice. I don't change fate, but I can see. I'm gonna cash in a whale. 
just to gain some life. We're getting a little low. I have an extra whale, and our mana is going to be really tied up in the next few turns. Like, if they play a champ, we're vengeancing. And if not, we're casting the other whale or whatever champ we draw. And then we're going Ledros, Aurelian Soul. Tom. Interesting. Atrocity. Also interesting. Nice to meet you. I'm Isla. Pass. I don't gotta do anything. I just want it to be next turn. Where are you, spirits? Where are you, spirits? Okay, let's hit the whale. And then the Dougie. I don't think anybody Dougies anymore. I think I just dated myself super hard. It was like my middle school time. It was like the Dougie. Or high school or something. You may be able to stop my Ledros. Probably not. But you may. But I got the real big daddy coming right after him. This guy ain't gonna do it. <laughs> and there's rocks in me boots. This guy is just me. Just whining. <laughs> Walking around just complaining. Okay, Rumble's actually an insane card too. Uh, this is the second Gohard. I mean, the third Gohard. So we're pretty much at pack too. The next Gohard we draw is Packer Bags. I must earn this madness before I lose my son. I'm not afraid to atrocity this man directly into your face. You also have to play a fearsome blocker. That counts. Now I won't atrocity him <laughs> because he'll get frozen and that would be sad. So I just wait. Just say, yup. And then I get the Aurelian soul. <laughs> so gigantic. So gigantic. The best hit off leveled Aurelian soul is Living Legends because it costs zero mana and then refills your entire mana. He's like, yeah, I'd love to have 10 mana again. Thank you so much for asking. Also, that go hard's pack your bags. I don't think action. our opponent's ever coming back from that one. Finally, some action. Ha, click correctly. Majin, Jesus. I would love for this to go through. Shocker. Oh, uh, I still take no damage. Therefore, don't care. Bull. You know I gotta take Cosmic Inspiration. Come on, guys. You know I gotta take Cosmic Inspiration. GG. GG. Oh, that's a fun one, man. Anytime you get to play leveled Aurelian, so... Especially when you didn't even put him in your deck. Alright, guys. That's gonna be it for this one. Hopefully, you all enjoyed the video. Uh, I, I I like playing Go Hard again. Go Hard Catalog Regrets felt very nice. And Howling Abyss is always a fun card. It's also nice to just shift fully into control. You don't get to do that very often anymore. But yeah, uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments. Let me know if you have any other decks you want me to play. It probably won't be until after the patch because tomorrow is going to be uh, Ionia Yetis, which I'm really excited about showing you guys. So thank you so much for coming. I'll see you guys next time.